Today on Munson Made This, we are making magic again. The reason I say we're making magic again is because we've already shot this video once, but it had audio issues, so we have to do it again. But these seven layer slash magic bars are so amazing that I didn't mind making them again for the second, actually, probably up to the fourth time at this point, just because they're so good. Um, the recipe is found on like an Eagle brand, sweetened condensed milk, and it's just a few simple ingredients thrown together, baked, and it's this magical, delicious, dessert. Now, most of the ingredients on the original recipe are not vegan, so I've gone through and veganized them. And it's just a few ingredients, like I said, but you just kind of got to be, uh, you got to be a little bit particular to make sure that they are specifically uh, vegan. So let's look at the ingredients before we get started. As I said, the ingredients are simple, but you need to make sure that you get specific ones. So this red box of Nabisco Grahams does not have any honey. So if you're a vegan and wanting to make sure that it is a completely vegan recipe, you wanna make sure to get the red box. And I got these at Target. Uh, another one of the important ingredients is the sweetened condensed milk here. This is a sweetened condensed coconut milk, and it's the 11 ounce can. This is found at a lot of grocery stores, and this is what's going to replace the regular sweetened condensed milk. And it is amazing stuff. You can eat this just out of the jar or out of the can. It's just like caramel deliciousness. Um, I also have a cup of chopped walnuts, a cup of coconut flakes, and then finally, a cup of vegan chocolate chips. These are from Trader Joe's, which just happened to be accidentally vegan. Um, I've gone ahead and I've already ground the graham, cracker, uh, graham crackers up into crumbs. You need about a half cup of, or one and a half cup of those. And then I also have a half cup of coconut oil, which is gonna help me build the crust. Now, the only thing I don't have here is the butterscotch chips because we are going to make a caramel sauce on our own. To make the caramel sauce, which is going to be our replacement for the butterscotch chips that are normally in the recipe, uh, we are going to need just about two and a half ingredients. Uh, starting out here, we have three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar, and it's just in a pan here on medium heat. I also have three quarters of a cup of full fat coconut milk, and the half ingredient is about a half teaspoon of salt. So what I wanna do here is just with a wooden spoon, just kind of stir my light brown sugar here. As I said, it's on medium heat. And I'm just gonna stir this until it melts. Now it's gonna go from sort of a sandy texture to a wet sandy texture to a liquid. And the second that it turns to liquid, I want to add my coconut milk. Um, by I'll actually remove the pan from the heat and add the coconut milk. And yeah, well, I'll tell you about that step once we get there. So right now I'm just gonna stir until we have a liquid. All right, it's been about two or so minutes here and you can see that the bottom of the pan is starting to collect some melted brown sugar. It's getting a little bit more difficult to stir. Things are starting to come together. And like I said, the moment that it goes sort of all liquid, we want to add the coconut milk and that's just gonna prohibit the caramelization from burning and getting too bitter. So the magic is just about to happen here in a moment. As soon as I add that coconut milk, also everything that we've done here to make this liquid is going to seize up, but then we're gonna switch over to a whisk and we're going to just continually whisk it until all of those firm chunks are gone. All right, so we are just about liquid here. Maybe just a couple more seconds. All right, so we are at liquid and I'm adding that coconut milk right now. It's going to butter a bit. And as you can see, the whole thing kind of seized up. I'm removing it from the heat as I do this. And I'm gonna add my salt here. And then I'm switching over to a whisk. And I just wanna continually whisk this until all of the chunks that just got solid are gone. And I have a thermometer here. I wanna bring it up to about 180 to maybe 190 degrees. You don't want it to go too much further than that because it will just be a hard caramel and it won't pour on top. So I'm at 180 degrees right now. I'm gonna let it go just 10 more degrees to 190. 
and that way it should have a nice caramel consistency. If you don't have a thermometer, um, I would maybe just kind of um, let it go, maybe like two or three minutes. The bubbles, you'll, you'll see most of the moisture is released from it, and the consistency of the bubbles changes slightly, but I don't know. And it's gonna bake at 350 in the oven anyways, so it'll firm up a little bit there. So get a thermometer if you don't have one. Just do your best to judge when it gets to 190 degrees. As soon as it hits 190, you want to turn it off and I'm going to just be pouring my sauce into a glass or heat proof jar. You do not want to let this stay inside the pan. It will continue to cook and burn. If you notice, it is a little bit viscous, but not what you're used to in terms of like a thick caramel sauce. That's okay, it will thicken up. I have a nine by 13 Pyrex glass baking dish here. And to that, I'm going to add my graham cracker crumbs. Remember that is a cup and a half. I'm also gonna add just a pinch of salt because this dish is very sweet dish, I mean dessert, because this dish is very sweet, the salt is gonna help to balance out some of that sweetness. I'm also to that going to add a half cup of melted coconut oil. Now you could use vegan butter if you had it. I just think by using coconut oil, you're sort of just cutting to the chase because that's essentially what most vegan butters are based with. Uh, if you notice also, I am not lining this baking tray or this baking dish. If you were really worried about getting things out or you were worried about sticking, definitely use a piece of parchment paper at the bottom. But because we're adding coconut oil here, I'm not really concerned about this sticking. So just gonna use my fork here to combine the coconut oil and the graham cracker crumbs, try to get the oil evenly distributed. And then I'm going to use the back side of my measuring cup to press the graham cracker crust down into the base. All right, that is the crust layer of our magic seven layer bars. The next layer is the sweetened condensed milk layer. And I've actually microwaved this for just about 15, 20 seconds so that it pours on nicely. If it's a little bit firm in the can and you try to spread it out with a spatula or something, you risk pulling up the crust layer. So you really, really wanna make sure that this is a nice runny consistency. Make sure to get it all. Um, make sure it's a nice runny consistency so that it is evenly distributed amongst the bars. And I'm just going to kind of maneuver it slightly just to make sure that everything is covered. It's now time for the topping. So I have my chocolate chips, coconut flakes, and my walnuts. You could use any other type of nut that you'd like. Um, and also I'm using a larger coconut flake here. If you wanted more shredded, sort of desiccated coconut, you could use that as well. So I'm gonna just start out with the chocolate chips. And I'm just gonna make sure that I get this cup of chocolate chips evenly distributed. Doing my little Jackson Pollock here. It's all about the composition, making sure everything is nice and balanced. All right, next let's do the coconut. Second to last layer are these walnuts and I've actually just put them in my food processor so that they're a little bit more crumbled up. And I like to put these on the top just so that they can brown up a little bit as well. They sort of get toasted when they're on the top. Before I add my final layer, which is going to be that caramel sauce, I'm just going to use the back of my measuring cup, just like I did with the graham cracker base. And I'm just gonna kind of press it down. This just kind of gets the toppings embedded into the sweetened condensed milk. And it just helps the bars stick together a little bit better. My last and final layer is my caramel sauce. And remember, this is the substitute for the butterscotch chips that the recipe normally contains. And you have just, I would say, just about a cup of this caramel sauce here that you're adding. So I'm just going to drizzle it all over. And like I said, this will kind of um, 
firm up or caramelize a little bit more on top of this, it's gonna just create a nice gooey, chewy layer to the top of these bars. Very last thing, I'm just gonna add another little pinch of salt. Again, this is a very sweet dessert, so I just wanna make sure that all of the flavors are really balanced out. My oven is already preheated to 350 degrees, and I'm just going to put this in here for about 25 minutes. I'm gonna set my timer to 25, check it at 20. Uh, it'll probably need to go that full 25 though. I just want it to be nice and kind of golden on top. Uh, even though I already have that sort of golden caramel syrup, um, I just want it to look a little bit more golden brown on top and everything sort of just settled and come together nicely. So I'll see you in 25 minutes. All right, my magic slash seven layer bars have been in the oven for 25 minutes. I can actually hear the bubbling happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. God, it smells amazing. So what we want here, you can see that there is some bubbling and caramelization of the sweetened condensed coconut milk. And um, yeah, you can see a slight bit of browning happening on here. So that's it. Well, these need to hang out until they come to room temperature and then I actually want to be able to put them in the fridge and let them set up completely before I slice and uh, serve them. So I'll see you back here when it's time to slice and serve. So I'm not sure how much exact time has elapsed. Basically I allowed the tray of bars to cool to room temperature and then I placed them in the fridge. And um, after a little while I kind of scored them as you can kind of see here, I scored them just so that they're a little bit easier to cut. Now this isn't as set up as I might like just because I wanted to finish this video here. Um, I would say if you wanted to serve them one day to maybe make these the night before just so that they have enough time to kind of hang out in the fridge and become firm enough to be able to get out of the pan. So we're gonna try to get them out of here and give a little taste test. Um, I like to use a bench scraper to try to get these out of here. If you don't have one of these, just use a spatula or something like that. So uh, let's take some out. And I'm actually going to cut these a little bit smaller. I find that these are really rich, so you don't want them to be too big. If somebody really, really enjoys them, they can have more than one. Get these out. Not too bad. I would like these to be set up a little bit more, but looks like they're coming out okay. All right, I have a edge piece here, which is nice because it's a bit more caramelized on the end. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Oh my God. It's so rich and creamy. There's a lot of textures from like the Christmas of the nuts and the coconut, just like a nice crust layer on the bottom with the graham crackers, it's just like the most incredible complex dessert. And it's cool to know that you can make this entire thing vegan. So, well, I hope you make this, give it a try. If you ever had these magic bars or some seven layer bars when you were younger, definitely give this a try with the swap outs that I made. It's really easy to make it vegan. If you didn't want to add that caramel sauce, if that's a little bit too much of an extra step, by all means, just throw it together with the rest of the ingredients. It's still going to be great. So thank you for watching this video. If you do like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you have not yet already. I took a couple weeks off, but I'm definitely back now. So I will see you next week with a brand new video. And you have a great holiday, even though I'll see you next week with another video. But uh, yeah, have a great one. I'll see you later.